plastered over paper. Inspiration from the environment. Digitizing people's expansive creativity. Crafted by adept hands. Produced even in the form of fulfilling sound. Art is everywhere. It portrays many things like emotions, society, an author's life. It causes viewers to understand things from different perspectives, or even create abstract opinions that vary from generation to generation. It creates value to us, and not just sentimental value, but also monetary value because of it. But artists have to worry about not just the struggles of criticism, but also protection. In this day and age with technology, it is easy to copy work in a matter of seconds. But why would an artist need protection over their work? And how? The copyright clause basically gives you some security over what you own. Protect the works of inventors. The exclusive right to their respective writings. The creative works of an individual. The formal definition states that Congress has power to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries, known as the Intellectual Property Clause. This means that creators can register their works under the Library of Congress so that they and their art are protected under law. Obtaining a copyright is relatively easy. All you have to do is submit a work to the Copyright Office, submit a small fee. It can be done online with an electronic form. Registering is important to an artist in preventing other people from copying their work and claiming it as their own. But in our technological era, copyright infringement happens commonly in ways some people don't expect. Social media posts. This one guy, he actually reposted one of my pictures on his Instagram page. I immediately contacted him, delete this or I'm going to sue you. Because I actually did not have a watermark on that picture because he stole it straight from my Instagram. With our spontaneous urge to show a friend something funny or cool, we sometimes post another person's work without regarding their rights. Um, in the past, I've had people use my drawings for icons and stuff online, and usually I don't mind as long as they give me some sort of credit, but sometimes there's issues with people that don't want to give credit. Infringement can damage an artist's reputation, work, and sometimes self-esteem. One of my favorite examples is have a project that they've worked two or three hours on. Then you turn to them and say, Johnny, I'm going to put Thad's name on it. And that is the most graphic way to let them know that art um, and creativity should be protected. But what about those who rely on the works of others as their artistic medium? Some people have found success from the work of others by creating remixes or parodies of another person's creativity. But is it legal? As it turns out, the U.S. Code of Laws has the answer. Title 17, Chapter 1, Section 107. Many people call it the Fair Use Clause, which basically states that people can use the works of others in their own way, so long as it is changed in a way that is expressed differently from the author's original intent. So things like doing product reviews, song remixes, and even use is fine with some caution. Some people try to copy my work, but I do a special signature, so they know that it's me. Cases just simply fall down to who owns a work of art and whether others have asked permission to use it. Most issues are resolved between creators and users with simple requests, like having a post being taken down or crediting the author. They can resolve their issue in a confidential and time-friendly way and go on doing their work because creative people need to be able to focus on their work and not worry about lawsuits. But bigger issues involving well-known organizations like record labels or corporations have larger consequences that may require a large amount of monetary reparation. But for the most part, it's just a good rule of thumb to ask permission from creators and give them credit for their work. If licenses are required, just make sure you and the creator both know what you are signing for. For those making creative works, know your rights and do what you can do to protect them. In the end, it is a loop of sharing. Creators sharing their works with their viewers and their viewers sharing their work with the world. So help creators you know share their work to the world while making sure you know your copyrights.